All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lepagus Show. I'm One Bar, and in this episode, we're going to talk about three Minnesota Vikings, three Vikings that I would love to see more of down the stretch as we push for an actual playoff spot. Yes, the Vikings have the seventh seed right now. They control their own destiny, but we have plenty of plenty of holes to fill. And uh, I'm going to go over three guys that might actually help improve this team, um, or I could be dead wrong and just make us much, much worse. Um, before we get into that, remember, subscribe to the channel, like the videos for every damn day, and hit, hit me up in the comments. Let me know, guys, that you want to see more of down the stretch, or maybe even guys you want to see less of down the stretch. But let's hop right into this. Number one, and this one is just, it, it seems too easy, but it probably won't happen, is uh, is Brett Bush Jones. Throwing Brett Jones at the left side instead of taking out Dakota Dozier. Dakota Dozier, as we know, is ranked as one of the worst guards in the NFL this year. Um, and with Ezra Cleveland solidifying that right side and uh, Bush Jones filled in for him while Ezra Cleveland was out, played pretty damn good. When you look at his PFF rankings, he's in the mid-70s, which is far and beyond Dakota Dozier, Drew Samia, Pat Alfine, what we've seen this year. Um, so why not? That, that's my thought. Why not put him over there? Let's see what he's got. We, yes, it was a small sample of Jones for a couple of games there, but uh, let's see what he got. Put him over there. Um, as we know, opposing defense are loading that box up. They're going after Dalvin Cook. Let's try to change it up, do anything we can to get him more space, get Kirk Cousins more protection because Dakota Dozier is just not cutting it, whether he's letting a guy in to, to get up on Kirk Cousins' ass or he's stepping on Garrett Bradbury's foot. Let's, let's change it up. Why I don't think this will happen, the Vikings seem very stubborn when it comes to the offensive line. They don't like to change things up. We saw Pat Alfine out there for way too long. We saw Drew Samia out there. And why do I think they would all of a sudden just say, you know what? Sorry, Dakota Dozier, you're out. So we'll see what happens. Vikings fans on Twitter, everything is just, let's get Brett Jones. Uh, what's crazy little thing, Brett Jones seems like he should probably be about 46 years old at this point. Seems like he's been around forever. Uh, maybe that's because the Vikings have cut him so many times, brought him back, practice squad, active roster. He's only 28 years old. It's shocking to me that he's only 28. So more Brush, Brett Jones. Uh, second guy. We know that Chris Boyd has had a little bit of a tough go at it the last couple of weeks, whether it's the balls bouncing off his face or him jumping 15 seconds too early um, and a deep pass. So our secondary has been a little bit of an issue. It's been up and down. We, we have some good things happening. Cam Danzer, Jeff Gladney. Um, but Chris Boyd, Chris Jones, a couple of guys that uh, could probably see a little bit less time. So what does that mean? I think Harrison Hand has earned a little bit to get more on the field. Um, every time he's out there, he seems to be playing pretty good. And pretty good is is better than some of the guys that we've seen out there. Harrison Hand is, we've again, like Brett Jones, we've seen a little bit of a small sampling of him. But can it get that much worse? Even when they're completing passes on Harrison Hand, he seems to be right in the right spot, and there's just these perfect, beautiful throws. Do I think Harrison Hand is also going to come in and solidify this secondary? Absolutely not. But I think that he might play just as good, maybe even a little better than some of these other guys. Um, so Harrison Hand, I'm all about getting him out there. I love how he, uh, his coverage has been very good. He's been played well against the run, and uh, again. It's more just the other guys out there right now are more of a liability. So let's see who he's got to offer. Worst case is we put him out there for a game, put him out there for two games. Doesn't pan out. Maybe that's good. Maybe it's good to give Chris Boyd a little bit of a break, get his, uh, get his head back and check because last year, Chris Boyd was showing some glimpses that he might be a pretty good depth piece. So um, Harrison Hand, would love to see more of him. And final, final, the last guy, has officially 11 snaps on the year, and they all came last week against the Jags. So who am I talking about? Yes, I am talking about defensive end Jordan Brailford. Listen to this stat line. 11 snaps last week, two pressures, two tackles, one forced fumble. And unfortunately, this isn't because I'm so excited about that. It's more than I'm so not excited about our pass rush right now. Uh, we got guys like Jalen Holmes out there. Um Hercules Mataf is, is they're getting a little funky with him, a little fancy with him, and he's gotten back there a few times. But, man, why not give Brilford a chance? In college, Oklahoma State, his last two years, he had like 16 sacks. Washington, before they cut him, they were very high on him. They wanted to bring him back. A lot of fans were very surprised that they let him go. Brilford is only in his second year, and uh, he definitely has the ability to get to the quarterback. So 
Uh, again, I, I don't know if it's just lack of options or that I'm just very excited about his 11 snaps, but let's see what this guy's got. Let's see. Let's see some more of him. Um, definitely has some intrigue around him. And right now we could use anything and everything to light a little fire up this defensive lines but so those are three guys again let me know down in the comments who you want to see more of a couple of uh other guys let's ramble off really quick uh chad bb i think he's deserves some more time um i never thought i'd be saying this i've not been a big chad bb guy but he's out there playing with some grit he's diving for those first downs yes he shouldn't be returning punts but as a receiver i think he's done pretty good and todd davis todd davis filled in pretty good for eric kendricks last week do i want to see todd davis instead of eric kendricks no, but uh, I, I could see them moving him around a little bit and getting a little fancy with him with Troy Dye not doing overly great. So a couple other guys I'd love to see more of. Again, let me know. And uh, remember, subscribe. We will be back very, very soon.